Yo, welcome back everybody. This is Tales from the Park, Season 2, Episode 7. And we came back after a long awaited time, but we're finally back to you with another episode. We got my main man, Landon Brown from the Central Georgia Rattlers, Perry Clark, the Fort Valley State alum, and Lehman Colbert, ex-professional overseas basketball player. Watch what we get into. First and foremost, I just want to say like, you know, everybody knows y'all uh, hoop or whatever. Y'all may have went to college, but just give the people some background info on where y'all played at. Northeast, 03 through 07. We had some college teams, but it ain't. So did you play? Did you play in the middle, or you played college? Like you? I played college. I, well, I made a college basketball team. I just wasn't there. My mom wasn't there. Okay. I'm leaving uh, Crawford County High School, class of 06, uh, Jacksonville University, mm. uh, class of 010. I played in Mexico, England. Mm. Uh, Dang. How, how was it like playing in uh, England? England was nice. That was my first stint out of college. Uh, I did two years there. I came in second in two championships, made the all rookie team. Almost rookie of the year, so it was oh, pretty good. Okay, okay, so you did work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were doing. <laughs> you, <laughs> bet, bet, bet. All right. Uh, Landon Brown, from the Westside High School. Uh, after school, played in different leagues all around Georgia. Played in Tybee Island, South Carolina. Mm. Uh, played in the Futomas in Florida. Uh, played in the ABA now. Uh, the Central Georgia Rallies in Battle Wildcat. And just keep on playing, stay in shape. Okay. Let me ask y'all something, man. What's y'all favorite thing about playing ball? I like to somebody tell me they're going to do something. You got to show me. Like, bet, bet. And, and, and that's, a, that's, about, that's about it. For me, it was more so like a competitive nature, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like piggyback off your saying, somebody pop it off of you, you're going to you're gonna have to step up and show what you're about, too, you know? And me, like, it's also like the sound of a ball used to urge me to just hoop. I don't mm. know what it was as a kid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just. It, it aches me and it's like a call. For me, it's three different things. For me, it's the first thing is making the right play. If I drive, I get go, I kick mm. to my teammates just to see him step into it and make a shot. That's a big thing for me. Bad. Secondly, Bad. it's me on the offensive end. If I know I can get to my spot, there's nothing you can do about it. And I can look you in your eye and I can tell there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. That drives me. Yep. On the defensive end, That's I, right. if I can take away your go to stuff, Make you do second or third options, and I know you can't score. That drives me as well. So those are my major three things that drive me when it comes to basketball. Bet, uh, bet. Uh, okay, okay. I like that. Uh, how do y'all feel about now, like we having the first black female vice president? A woman is a natural nurturer. Think about that. A woman versus a man, women. You know what I'm saying? She naturally gonna nurture, nurture something. You feel me? So if, even if she didn't win presidency or if she didn't run for it, but she was vice president. He really gonna be in his hill about a heart, baby. He gonna really have a heart, you know. So it's a, it's a big thing, and I know women around the world is feeling like, you know, it's in power. Mm. It's so in power. Okay. It's in power. Okay. Cool. I'm glad to see it. I think we made history. We made mm -hmm. history, and I was part of history. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm a, I'm a young dude, so you know, it's it's, it's a good thing to see. Uh, I mean, it, you see history grow uh, True. day by day. Like you said, you're part of his one, so uh, he did what he did. Congratulations. On to the next. In 2021, the NCAA, they're supposed to be giving people uh, that got a big social media likeness, like scholarship. So how do y'all feel about that? I'm going to be, since I was at Division One school, and but, I, uh -huh. my basketball program was the breadwinner of the school. Mm -hmm. Like, if you think about Tebow, man, the yeah. amount of money Tebow made at the University of Florida or, you know, a Todd Gurley or somebody mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. they, they should get something. True, yeah, right, they right, because they brought something they to that school. millions to the school. To the university. Not even if it has anything to do with social media, right. just the amount of jerseys that they sell mm -hmm. to make a school millions of dollars, oh, yeah. they should get something off of it. I That's feel almost you. like modern-day slavery, man. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Exactly it is. Um, with that being said, it's gonna put a bigger target on the boys back if you want to be honest. True. For me, like now people gonna wanna see y'all on the court or like see what y'all can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The scout report gonna be out on y'all earlier than what you think it is because once the first to take or whatever your go to is and they seen it up, you keep doing your go to move on a on a, a, a highlight reel or something like that. 
is gonna get took off. They're gonna be playing for that all night. So it's gonna put a target. You're gonna you're gonna make the scout report a little bit easier if they do that. I think I kinda I really don't like it in some way because young dudes like you got most of high school mm -hmm. getting some contracts with like Nike and mm -hmm. Adidas, mm -hmm. like that's Based on their social media, nah, social media like, ain't and it ain't even got nothing to do with yeah, the court. I ain't playing. Ain't nobody name or nothing, but it's a couple high school cat right now. They can play. I tell you nothing for nothing. But Jim know who I was in high school. All that loud talking, all that feeling like they cool. Man, they would have came to court and went up. Either I'm gonna beat them up though. I'm gonna take them out. It was just that stuff. Like I ain't gonna let nobody do none of that extra stuff. And yeah. I think like when they get to that other league, they gonna feel like, yeah. oh, I'm already here and I'm just cool. Right. You know this is a hip hop basketball show. Give me your top five favorite rappers, ball player, dead or alive. It can be anybody. Rappers, five rappers, five ball players. Top five. Two pop support number one. Okay. Uh, Nazir Jones number two. Nas is always gonna be down number two. Uh, Nas is dope. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna set it off right now. You can't, you can't knock uh, what Jay did, man. But I feel like he feel, finished Biggie career, so I'm gonna have no boys that tied at number three. Mm -hmm. Four. Man, I'll probably say Uncle Snoop, man. He, he's a longevity. Wayne after that. Hoopers. Number one, MJ. Number two, I'll say Kareem Adul Jabbar because he's the he's the most winningest basketball player ever. Like to me, because I I didn't get to see it, but bro, if you check the stats, high school championship, college championship, NBA championship. Bro don't know what losing is. Um number three. Uh, Tracy McGrady, man. Mm. Not a bad bad T Mac will be the most T-Mac T Mac probably is my favorite. The pull up heads can still can't be stopped. I like KD. He's doing bet. it right now. Pull up heads. Um, and after that, I, took, I said number three. Uh, that's four. Four. Uh, the Bean and LeBron. After that, the Bean man. The Bean to play the game with a dog. That, that, that's it. But we'll give you that. <laughs> that's it. <My> bad, yeah. <laughs> you good? You good, bro? Jay Z, Biggie, Pop, Wayne, Ti. That's, mm, that's a good five. That's strong five. There. Like strong five. five. My starting five, I don't go, go this, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My starting yeah. five, I like that. AI, Kobe, Trump. Jordan, LeBron, Shaq. There you go. You give me them five, and I'll and you, all of them out of money in the world. That's bro. it. That, and run the whole I thing. That's the most dumb <laughs> thing we've ever seen, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, my rappers, I got J. Cole, I got the baby, I got 2 Chain, I got T.I., and then I'm going to go old school for my dad, I got the fat boy. <laughs> Okay. Baby, yeah, 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 for real, yeah. We, hey, but that's dope that you brought out the fat boy. Ain't nobody even thinking about that. Put the fat boy coming up, and that way I listen to all through middle school, mm. high school. I played sometimes before my game. Just listen to it. Okay. Uh, top my five. I like I like you. I go my star lineup. I got Shaq at the five. I got KG at the four. I got LeBron James at the three. Forgot about KG. I got, uh, at the two, I got MJ at the one. I got AI. Bet, bet, bet. Double chop. Bet. <laughs> well, y'all heard it first. Your boys, that's what they like. So we about to get on this court. Let's go. That's it, man, for season two, episode seven. They got us on the court. Hey, but it was good to hit an intake on basketball. 
a little bit of politics, social things. Let me tell you something. Like, comment, share, subscribe to Tales from the Park. And you remember, stay peace, stay blessed.